What's up, my good people? Welcome back to the broadcast. Plenty of reviews and reels. Today we have Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo. Both same age. Charlo obviously has the height advantage and the reach advantage, but you know, Canelo is just overall stronger. They both great fighters. Alvarez just stronger than Jamel Charlo. Now, to be quite honest, Charlo had no chance in this fight, and neither does his big brother. They will both get their ass whipped. Now, I feel like Charlo was being afraid and hesitant, contrary to what he said before the match. It's our talk. Don't believe the hype. Now, looking at this match, Alvarez must have had a ton of... Uh, a ton in each fist and these tons was flying like whistles you know i mean i have a feeling though that after that hesitant 12th round of this fight alvarez uh, looking to, to face david benavidez no 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 i don't think that's what he want contrary to what he said before the competition yeah i think he worried because you know benavidez is definitely watching this fight and picking up on his weaknesses. Now, was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Congratulations, Carnelo Alvarez, for the victory, but are you going to win against the white Mexican monster? That's what we want to know. You heard me? Now, I'm, I'm pretty upset about these commentators because Jamel Charlo was landing some pretty hard shots. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if we were watching the same fight or not, but, but yeah, them guys was tripping. Charlo pointed out that he didn't get knocked out by Canelo. Ryder said the same thing after fighting Canelo. But Canelo said, that's a victory for some fighters not getting knocked out by me. Now, I will say this. The fact that a heavyweight and a welterweight called that Canelo is proof that, I mean, he the face of boxing. Canelo Alvarez is 5'8". And people still whine about him being a weight bully. Now, let's not take nothing away from Jamel Charlo. This man is one hell of an athlete. He ran like 24 miles in 12 rounds. Now, Canelo did some things against Beaver that we can see here against Charlo. This sort of Rocky Marciano approach of punching the arms and shoulders of guys who will take defensive postures. While the former opponent was simply too large for Canelo, it is a fantastic way to make an opponent's arms feel heavy and tired. People, people criticize Canelo for throwing um, hooking punches frequently, but this is why a fighter's arms begin to suffer bruises, feeling heavy and lethargic, and they forced to compensate by defending wider or ducking low. This can open up the door for straight punches and uppercuts, which you'll see later. While Carnello wasn't able to score a knockout, he noticeably dominated this fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Charlo was definitely dominated, but I'm sure big brother Charlo was happy for the paycheck that his little brother received for this. And we ain't taking nothing from Charlo. Jamel didn't show up for this fight, just wanted to survive. He actually did his hands go pretty free in the early round. The problem he had is that he hit Canelo flush on several occasions and it didn't even stop him from moving forward. Even after the knockdown, he landed a left hook later that round that would have dropped most guys at 154. You hear me? He shelled up once he realized that even his best shots were ineffective against Canelo Alvarez. Man. Through Pierce's observation, I can say this. Canelo's stamina is actually off the charts, so salute to his trainers and all those guys that got him ready for this fight. This fight is very reminiscent of the Fulton fight. Once Charlo felt the power of Canelo's shots, he knew he was out of his league. Easy win for Canelo Alvarez, just like I said. Canelo Alvarez is one of the greatest to ever step in the ring. Love him or hate him, ain't no denying that. And much respect to Jamel Charlo. He absorbed a lot of heavy shots and didn't quit. I ain't gonna give a lie. If Canelo was landing shots like that on me, I wouldn't even try to fight back. I'm just trying to survive at all costs to get this check. It's damn amazing to me how he kept taking these punches. Even the sound of the punches feels like a brick getting hit by a brick. Now let's just be clear. 
Camille Torlo been calling out Canelo for years, saying he would beat him and that Canelo was ducking him. He finally get a chance and didn't do nothing. I really think Canelo Alvarez's skill and power level category completely dominated this fight. When Canelo Alvarez lands a punch, the damn cracks you hear is crazy. Man, Charlo sure knew who the master was in the ring. Charlo went out, let's just be clear. Anyone can see who had the power. Canelo did. It was right in everybody's face. Charlo shut down after feeling that power. He felt like he didn't believe in himself. Canelo looks great. Damn good. Composed and strategic power punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the face of his division. When you look at these punching stats, you see Canelo getting higher and landing punches. An underrated skill people notice but don't recognize. Now they do. Let's just be clear. Canelo Alvarez is one of the very best pound for pound fighters in boxing history. Period. Every punch thrown by Canelo was fucking insane. Them blows have a lot of power. Alvarez is left hook or just from another planet. Fast, powerful, and perfectly executed. You seen it just like I see it. Charlo got intimidated by Canelo's counter punch and power punches and was hesitant to let his hands loose. He did. It looked like he was shocked by how hard Canelo could actually punch. Looking at this guy, Canelo, it, it, it should inspire anybody enormously. He just wants to win, nothing else. It's not just about boxing. Jarmel, Jarmel, Jarmel. Respect to Charlo. He, he sure showed heart and, and he showed everybody why he deserved this fight. Took every hit like a true champion and delivered as well did not back down. But I said it before and I say it again. Jamel Charlo had no chance in this fight. Charlo ran after he felt the first punch. I'ma get a man his flowers. You know what I'm talking about? Charlo dropped his nuts in this fight. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but having heart ain't gonna beat ain't ain't ain't, ain't gonna beat a, a world class fighter like Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm talking about? Charlo definitely felt those rib and body shots. You hear me? <laughs> what my boy Alvarez say before the fight? You will see. You will learn. Canelo really beat him up the whole fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Canelo had some zipping them shots. Kept Charlo's respect the entire fight. Meanwhile, Canelo didn't respect Charlo's power, and that's what made the difference in the fight. You know what I'm saying? From the beginning of the fight, Charlo looked nervous and, and more than ready, and Canelo looked ready from the beginning. You know, respect to Charlo for taking the fight. If you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. And he fought a great fight. I like Charlo. I like his brother a lot too. They both great boxers. Canelo Alvarez, he, he just on another level, you know. He, he just out of this world, you know. Who got next? Terrence Crawford. Who? Who wanted next? Let's go. Canelo Alvarez is here and. Just like every other round, it begins with Canelo. Prime people with Canelo Alvarez has never been stopped. He has never been look at his resume. I mean, luminaries up and yeah. down. It's incredible just how many. Obviously, the whole experience that Canelo has, and when when well, he has a, yeah, I'm sorry, I mean, no, no, I, I know. I mean, there's glass of, of him trying, but again, it's for yes. a reason. A wise man yeah. once said, "The good little man." Although when we looked at this fight, we talked about Charlo having them saved for maybe round five. Unofficial score: Steve Park game. Charlo round five but that Canelo maybe has an opportunity to close the show meanwhile Charlo trying to find him is on his way to retaining the undisputed super middleweight championship Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. All three in favor of the winner. And still 